and welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics. And today's class it's about the third chapter which is production and cost. In that, the one of the questions you will have, please explain what is TP, MP and MAP. So TP is total product, marginal product and average product. How exactly it's going to work in the short run? So these all concepts are short run product. Short run production function. So, when we are talking about production function, we can classify that on the basis of time two ways. One is the long run, another one is the short run. What is the meaning of short run and what is the meaning of long run? Short run means it's very the time, the time period the production is going to be happen that is really very less. Long run means the production things which happens it is for the very long run most probably more than 2 years to 10 years, 20 years, 30 years like this. Production function can be classified in the basis of time. The one is a short run and the one is the long run. How in the short run how inputs are going to work and in the long run how inputs are going to work. So let me tell you the factors of we have 4 factors of production when it comes to production. The, the, four, the four factors of production are land, labor, capital and organization. If you consider this, all four are factors of production. Without this production, it's really impossible. Producing anything, it will be really very impossible. You cannot say that I leave the labor, uh, land and only three factors of production I'm going to use it, I'm going to produce. It is not going to happen. So any production process, the basic inputs what they need, these are all called as factors of production, land, labor, capital and organization. Without this production, anything if you leave one aspect, one factor also if you are going to leave, so definitely it is really impossible to produce, so involved in the production process. How are you going to use this? How, how much you are going to use the land, labor, capital, organization on the basis of time period? If it is for the short run, how I am going to use the factors of production? If it is for the long run, how we are going to use the factors of production? So that we are going to analyze now. So we classify short run and the long run if the production process is happening for very less time. So in that case, we have two kinds of factors. So we can classify these factors into two types. One is fixed factor and the one is variable factor. What is a fixed factor means? Fixed factor means the factor which is not going to change in the duration of a process, in the duration of production. So that will be called as definitely fixed factor. For an example, for one year, for one, six months, I cannot change the building. So definitely it is impossible. I have hired a building for three months, once, two months, once. I cannot change it. So building, it should be fixed factor for a short term. At the same time, if I am going to talk about machineries, even machineries will be fixed factor in the short run because for one year, the machinery is really very costly. I cannot change the machineries one day, once, two days, once. So otherwise one year, once. I cannot change it because it is really very costly. Investment leads somewhere else. So because of that, in very less span, definitely I am not going to change the land. I am not going to change the uh, capital. But can you change the labor? Yes, the possibilities are there that you are going to change the labors. Because the short run it is for 2 years. So definitely you need more skilled people. You can train them. Yeah, you, otherwise you are going to hire more skilled people. So definitely the labors might change. So if the labors are changing, if the lab, land is fixed, capital is fixed. You cannot change it in the short span. Labor you can definitely change it. So then it will be called as Variable factor. Can you change the group of people who is working for you? Who is going to decide what to produce, how to produce, for whom to produce? Yes, you can change them also. So, the labor and organization, if you are taking as a variable factor, what is the variable factor means? The factors of production which is changing in the duration of production. Anything is changing. In the short run, for the very less time I'm producing and something is changed. Variable, varying. So if anything is changing, that to factor. So that will be called as variable factor. Anything is fixed. The factors in these, any of the factors, if it's fixed, so 
subunit will be called as fixed factor. In the short run, you have fixed factors also, you have variable factors also. Few of the things will be fixed, few of the factors will be fixed, few of the factors are going to change. On the other side, you have a long run. The long run, that means definitely a long run it is for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, very long run also possible. If it's going to happen, don't you think 10 years, 15 years, once you, you have to change the building, definitely the plantation size should increase. So definitely you're going to increase your the place, so land will be changed. At the same time, you have to update your technology, so even machineries will be changed. What about labels? Definitely it will be changed. In the short run only labels are changing. Don't you think in the long run it is going to change? Definitely it is going to change. What about the organization? The same thing. So in the long run, everything will be changed. Building, machineries, labels, everything. Capital, every, everything will be changed. So that's why in the long run, everything is a variable factor. Everything will be variable factor in the long run. But in the short run, few things cannot be changed. So that will be called as fixed factor. Few things can be changed. That will be called as variable factor. So right now, the theory which we have picked, that is explaining total product, marginal product and average product. These are all three are concepts of short run. So now I'm going to talk about short run. So in definitely in the future, in a few of the classes, definitely I'm going to talk about long run. Right now the class is about so TP, MP and AP. TP is nothing but total product. That means by using the factors of production, whatever goods and services you are producing. So that will be called as total product. Right now, so for the analysis in your textbook, they have said you're going to change only one factor that is labor. They have considered two factors of production to prove this theory that is labor and land. They have considered land as a fixed factor and the labor as a variable factor. To produce the total product, how many labors you are using and how much production is increasing. The total production in a given time period that will be called as total product. Then what is marginal product? The marginal word it talks about extra additional yeah individual contribution so this way when extra labors are added because it is a variable factor that means it's going to vary each time if labors numbers are increasing so what will be the extra contribution each labor is giving you so mp is a marginal product which is extra contribution is given by the extra labor yeah additional uh, contribution which is given by the additional labor yeah variable factor so that will be counted by, measured by marginal product. What is the formula? So you can go with two formula. The easiest formula is MP is equal to TPN total product number TPN minus 1. So I'll tell you how exactly you're going to do this. Uh, okay, when I'll be calculating this, I'll show you two, both the methods. That I so one more formula what you have. Change in output divided by change in input. So change in output is nothing but total product. Change in our total product. To represent the change we are using delta, so you have seen previous classes of mine. So change in input, so input which one we are changing? Only labors are changing. So as I said, land is a fixed factor, so we are keeping that constant only. So next one, average product. So average product is nothing but the total number of labors what we are using. So in that, what average product they are giving? Average, what is the average production of each and everybody? So that will be called as per unit of variable uh, unit. So why only variable unit? As I said, land is a fixed one and only labels are going to change. So that's why to measure AP, average product, we have taken only variable per unit of variable unit. What is the variable here? Definitely it is labor. So what is the formula? AP is equal, is equal to TPL divided by L. So total product by the labels and how many labels are you going to use it. If you find out this, so then you are going to get the AP. So these are the formulas. So to understand, to calculate the this particular theory. So let me tell you, for the short run, the theory what we are going to use, this particular theory what we are doing, that is called as the variable proportions theory. This is called the variable proportions theory. 
So for the long run, so definitely we will talk about in our future. In the long run, we have one of the theory which is called as the Richter's two scale. For each one, we have one theory. For the short run, the law of variable proportions. For the long run, you have the Richter's two scale. This theory, what exactly we are doing, that is nothing but the the way the law of variable proportions theory. But right now, directly they have not framed the question that explain how exactly the law the law of variable proportions is going to work. They have just asked you how TP, MP, and AP is going to behave. So definitely these are the concepts of short run. So definitely this theory nothing but a uh, uh, the law of variable proportion theory. So now I'm going to help you out. How are you going to find out this? So label number what you have that is zero, one, two, three, four, and five, six. You can see that labor, as I said before, it is a variable factor. The variable factor is continuously increasing. Vary means, as I said before, it is increasing, changing. So can you see the change? It is increasing each and every time. First, only zero people who are working. If nobody is working, so definitely total production. Total production is nothing but we have to consider as a output. Output will be zero because nobody is working. So labor numbers are increasing. The way labor numbers are increasing, can you see total production is also going to increase? It was 0, 10, 24, 40, 50, 56, 57. Continuously, the way input is increasing, output is also going to increase. Can you see the relationship between the input and output? Labor you should, you should consider as the input. So what is the production function says? The production function explains the relationship between input and output. Can you see here input which is the labor and output which is increasing. So both are increasing so definitely the theory should be positive. The relationship between input and output definitely it is the positive theory. So now let me calculate how exactly MPL and APL is going to work. So you do not have anything to so you can go with that. So let me go with this formula now to find out MP. MP is equal to TP n minus TP n minus 1. So if you are going to take this particular formula, so what will be the answer? So first you have to take the second number, which is the new number to find out MPL. So take 10 minus 0, the answer is 10. What is the extra additional contribution is given? That is 10. So next you can go with TP is 24. The new one minus the old one which is 10, it is 14. You have to write it as a 14. So now if you continue the calculation, 40 minus 24 is 16. This will be 16. So now 50 minus 40, it is 10. So 56 which is 50 minus 50 is nothing but 4. 57 minus 56 is nothing but 1. So this is the way the easiest method to find out MP here. So let me give you the one more method. So 0 by 0 you cannot, uh, it will be 0 only also, we take it as this. 
So 10, T pair is 10 by 1 is equal to 10. The answer is 10. So one more, 24 divided by 2. 24 divided by 2 is definitely 12. So now 40 divided by 3. So 40 divided by 3 is 13.33. So 13.33. So next one 50 divided by 4. 50 divided by 4. is equal to, sorry, where I was, 12, 13.33. 40 divided by 3, it is 13.33. So, 50 divided by 4 is 12.5. So, then 56 divided by 5 is 11.2, 57 divided by 6, which is 9.5, 50 divided by 4 is nothing but 12.5, 56 divided by 5 is 11.2, 57 divided by 1, sorry, 57 divided by 6 is 9.5. So, this is the way how you are going to get ATP, MPL and APL. So, you have to analyze, labels numbers are increasing, total product is also increasing, but MPL, what we talk about, the MPL is till here it is increasing, after this point it started decreasing, the same thing with the APL also at the beginning it is continuously increasing and after one point of time it is decreasing. So complete explanation of this it is not needed as if now. So right now what is needed is you have to explain what is TP, MP, AP and the formulas. How exactly it is going to behave. What is the importance of that in the production process. So short run and the long run. And this table calculation it is more than enough to express this particular question. So I hope you are getting my classes. If you are really liking it, if you want more videos of uh, second PUC uh, uh, class 12, so please do subscribe and like it. Thank you so much.